flashback now to what top members of the administration were saying around about the same time when Lake and Riley suspected killer had first entered illegally our nation. We're going to have two million people cross this border for the first time ever. You're confident this border is secure? We have a secure border in that that is a priority for any nation, including ours and our administration. But there are still a lot of problems that we are trying to fix, given the deterioration that happened over the last four years. Secretary Mayorkas, do you continue to maintain that the border is secure? Yes, and we are working day in and day out to enhance its security. Republican Senator Marsha Blackburn of Tennessee, member of the Judiciary, Finance, and Veteran, Veterans Affairs Committees. Uh, Senator, thank you for being sure. with me today. I want to get your just initial thoughts. The vice president, yes, it's secure. The man who's now looking to be impeached by the House, um, Mayorkas, said, yes, it's secure. And we know all of it was a lie. Because in the first 100 days of his administration, Joe Biden took 94 executive actions and orders that weakened immigration policy, weakened immigration law, and further opened the border. An open border is the Biden border policy, full stop. That has been their policy. Joe Biden has resisted actually going to the border, so has Kamala Harris. And when she went down there, she went to the wrong address. And now we find out that here comes this illegal immigrant in 2022. He's apprehended in September 23, a year later, on the child molestation and endangerment charges. Mm. And Harris, New York is a sanctuary city. New York State, a sanctuary state. So they let him go before a detainer gets to ICE. And what does he do? He ends up in Georgia and he kills a brilliant young woman who is a good student and her family is grieving and the nation is grieving with that family over this loss of life. So I, I, I want to get to this because you said Vice President Kamala Harris went to the wrong address. Well, so yeah. did President Biden because yes, they had exactly. so cleaned up El Paso when he got there. Right. I mean, I don't know where they put all of the illegal immigrants, right. but could they put them wherever they put them then? Because he didn't get to see anything that was the reality well, of what our patrol agents were dealing with. That's right. And as you've heard me say time and again, every town's a border town, every state's a border state. Instead of flying these illegal immigrants to places in the country, why don't we fly them back home? Why don't we? And send them back. And this is why you mentioned the House, H.R. 2. Yes. That bill landed in the U.S. Senate on May 15th of 2023. Now, it was to go to Judiciary Committee. Mm -hmm. Harris, we have had over 80 meetings and hearings of the Senate Judiciary Committee since that bill oh landed in the Senate. We have talked about, let's bring up immigration, let's talk about this border. Why didn't they take up H.R. 2? And if they didn't like the bill, then amend it, put in provisions but that would actually secure the border. But this administration has wanted an open border. That has been their policy. Senator, 80 meetings yes. since this went from the House to the Senate, H.R. 2? That's correct. And, and what happens when you bring it up? Uh, there is, there has not been a desire to talk about the secure border issue, so the Schumer illegal hasn't. immigration issue, oh. even though we have had people from 170 different countries, yes. according to Border Patrol, enter our country, 24,000 wow. uh, Chinese that are coming in, mm -hmm. people by the hundreds from countries of interest. And this is why we have to know who's coming in our country and why they're coming, because the American people, certainly Tennesseans that I talk to every day, they are saying, how do we protect our communities? Right. How do we keep something bad from happening? How do we deal with crime? How do we deal with All fentanyl fair questions. and human trafficking when yeah. our border is wide open? And you go talk to any local law enforcement officer, any sheriff, any police chief, they will tell you, we 
we can't address these issues until the border is secured. It's a lot. They're asking those questions in Chicago, Illinois right now. They're yes. asking those questions all across our southern border. Uh, it, it is incredible. 80 meetings. And I put this on Chuck Schumer because he seems to be somewhat of a driver no matter what committee he sits on. That's right. <laughs> He's always talking. He sets talking. the agenda. That's yeah. why we have to make certain Republicans take the Senate in November so that we set that agenda. Uh, the New York Post editorial board wrote this. Lake and Riley's murder suspect was free because the system is broken. Joe Biden has erased our southern border, taking away any mechanism for the United States to decide who can come in and when. There's no vetting, no rules, no limit. When so many laws are ignored, how can anyone be surprised when it leads to even more lawlessness? And that's part of what you were just that's saying. Right. What takes us forward? I mean, so the president is going to go down. Uh, just coincidentally, I suppose, although you and I both know I don't believe in coincidences, just yes. interesting timing, while Donald Trump is down there, too. Mm -hmm. So there's that optic. There's the horrible optic of this young woman, this nursing student yes. who was killed. What changes by Biden going to the border at this point? Biden, with the stroke of the pen, could change a lot of this. He could end his parole policies. He has paroled 1.2 million people into the U.S. There is no previous president that has come anywhere near that number. And I was looking at a chart today of the parole numbers from 1983 to 2003. The only person that ticked above 150,000 in a year was Bill Clinton, in 2000. Now, Harris, this is one of those things that gets to the decisions of an administration. Mm -hmm. Joe Biden's choice was to open that border, to weaken immigration law, to weaken border security. What he should do is go get in a vehicle with the Border Patrol and go out on parole. Yeah, go do what we've exactly, done. Exactly. That's exactly right. Yeah. I've been out numerous times. I know you have. Get yourself in that car. Go talk to them. Go see what they are dealing with. And or the then, helicopter. There's room in that, too. There is. And then make a decision that you're going to put the American people first and you're going to end this running across the southern border. God bless these Border Patrol agents and Say these local sheriffs that are down there. God bless Texas for what they're doing to protect their border. But, Harris, to protect our children to protect our communities, we have to be able to secure that southern border. This has got to be really quick. Does it matter if you impeach Mayorkas? It is going to send a message, but what we can do, I think that makes means more than that, is look at what President Donald Trump did to secure that border, compare it to what is happening today when all of these executive orders and actions took place that erased that work that had been done in the previous administration. Border security, issue number one, is we head into the election. Yeah, I mean, just look at the previous primaries for Republicans. You got number it. Number one, Iowa, New Hampshire. Uh, That's right. South Carolina. So great to see you. So Thank good you to see you. Thank you very much. Appreciate Absolutely. it. And you were the one who first said every state in our republic is now a border, border state. state. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.